We're just two games into a new season of Texas women's basketball, but when you've got the number 10 recruiting class in the nation, it can't look, can't hurt to look ahead to next season. Coach Aston joins us now. Coach, you announced the signing of four high school seniors this week as part of your second recruiting class at Texas. How is the process of recruiting different for you this year with a year under your belt? Well, it was much different. Obviously, the cohesiveness of what we were looking for and what we understood about what was necessary at Texas was much smoother for our whole entire staff. The other piece of the process is that it's a relationship building process. Uh, that's what, to me, recruiting is all about. And the time that we spent building these relationships with these young women was much longer. Uh, you know, therefore, you know much more about them. You feel much more connected. Uh, the time was very short with our last class. And much more time here to assemble the group that you have. Two Gatorade Players of the Year. All four are in the top 25 rankings of their position groups. Mm -hmm. They've got three state championships among them. Let's start with the headliner, Ariel Atkins. What makes her the number four prospect in the country and the most coveted guard in this class? Well, she has so many special qualities. Uh, Ariel is a lefty that can score in a, in a ton of different ways. Uh, she's a slasher, but can also shoot the three, which is a little bit unusual at the high school ranks. Most of the time they slash because nobody can stop them. Uh, what I think is so special about Ariel is what you just see right there. Her, her defense is tremendous. Uh, she's a great rebounder. But what really sets her aside, I think, from everybody is that she is an unbelievable competitor. She's a winner. Uh, all of them are. But uh, she, she's really, uh, there's not any other word for her but special. Ariel and Tasia Foman currently teammates at Duncanville High School, a group that knows something about winning. Tasia also runs track. What will she bring to the team? She brings a, a, and just a motor. Uh, I, and what I love about Tasia is her ability to compete on the defensive end. Uh, obviously, being at Duncanville, they, these young ladies know how to win. Uh, they know what it means to go the extra mile. And what I always see in Tasia is that want to guard the best player. She doesn't mind challenging herself. Uh, she's an intangible type player. Get it, you know, she gets a rebound, gets a steal. She makes buckets when they're needed. Uh, she just has a championship mentality. Another Texan, Brooke McCarty from League City, the number 29 overall recruit in this class. You say she has that it factor. Mm -hmm. Why is that? It, th there's not a description, you know, if people always want to know what is it that she's so special, you know, what, what are all of her qualities that are so special? I mean, she can shoot really, really deep. Uh, that's, that's the thing that separates her because of her stature. She's small, but the fact that she can drag somebody so far out. But the it factor, in my opinion, is how, how do you make other people feel good about themselves? How do you help your teammates be better than they're really ever capable of being? And that's what I think Brooke has that is is just it's a god-given quality and then there's diani akibogan the only forward of this group one of 5a state championship in colorado how can she contribute to this team well first of all we lack depth at that position uh, that is a position where right now NECA is pretty much the only power forward that we have and diani brings again another championship mentality uh you know she's an unbelievable student she's one of those type a personalities where everything needs to be ordered and perfect and uh, she's just highly competitive and what I was most impressed with her about, I know her high school coach, he told me a lot about her, but when she came on her visit here, you know, she was a, just an unbelievable person with everybody. I mean, everybody fell in love with her, our academic people. What most impressed me was her connection. Brooke was on the visit at the same time and her connection was simply, I know what these people are about that are coming to play here and I want to be a part of this. Uh, she wants to be a part of something special.